Hi everybody, this is Joe Krug from FinSweep. In this video, we're going over the scroll top icon with a scroll into view element trigger. What we will do is scroll down to the bottom of the page. And as we do that, we're going to have a scroll to top icon come into view. So check it out. We are running this icon animation we are showing this little wrapper that's covering the icon animation. And this is saying to the user, hey, let's scroll back up to the top of the page. You can have it centered. More commonly, it's over to the right. You can have it anywhere on the page. Let's jump in and see how this is set up inside Navigator. We have our scroll up trigger. This is what the interaction is on. We have this set to absolute with a Z index of negative one, and we have our custom height of 75 viewport height. This is inside of our wrapper that's holding the scroll up wrapper here, this link going up to the top, and then we have our icon. This trigger is set to absolute, so we can exactly customize where it is on the page we can say exactly where we want it to scroll in and scroll out, set the trigger, everything. And negative one is saying, don't be on top of any page content. The user can't click on it. We can't even click on it in designer. We have to click on it here in navigator. Okay. So let's get into interactions and see how this is all working. We have our trigger selected. We're going into our interactions. We have two interactions set here. Now you can, if we were doing this on a live site, a client site, one of our sites, this would be all in one single interaction. We're breaking it up into two interactions for two reasons. Number one, we are using some of these same interactions for our while scrolling in view, which take some of the scroll up circle into view and it does not take this other part. And also if you copy and paste this, you clone and you try to put this on your site, we understand that you may not want this outer wrapper. You may want it, you may not want it. So it's an easy delete. All right, let's get into it and see how this works. First, we are going to jump into the, what should we do first? Let's do the scroll up circle into view. When this, when this trigger is 25% into view, we're going to initiate this outer scroll up wrapper and it's going to play the scroll up circle into view. We have initial states of zero scale and negative 50 on a move. Now, the reason we're doing this is because it has an initial transform state in CSS. And you can see that it's the same exact value when the interaction is triggered, negative 50, negative 50. The reason we're doing that is because since we're interacting with scale, we need to maintain our transform move. And if we did not have that, it would be off centered. So let's get back into it. Let's get back into it. You can see that if I were to remove this, it's going to be off centered, off centered. And I'm going to add those back in. Okay, great. So negative 50, negative 50. That's so we can use our scaling up to one. So we're going from nothing to our normal scaled position. Okay. And when we scroll out of view, we are going to reverse everything. We are going to scale back to zero and we're going to still maintain our negative 50% on the move. We need this or it's not going to be centered. Okay. And that's all that's happening for this outer wrapper. Great. Cool. Now let's get into the Lottie icon animation. And when we scroll into view, we're doing our scroll up into view animation. And we have an initial state for the Lottie 
of 0%. Let's move this up so we can see what's going on here. Let's make this 70 temporarily. And let's get back and click on our scroll up trigger and get back into here. Okay, now we can see what's going on. Initial state 0%, we're going for two seconds up to 75.3. So we are transitioning, transitioning, nice. We could stop here if we want. We wanna keep going, do some pumps, nice. Cool. We could even loop this if we wanted to. It could be a nice loop to really get the user's attention. But we're not gonna do that. We're just going to do one. We'll stop at 75 here. Nice, looks great. Okay, and then scroll out of view. We are going to return the Lottie icon back to its 0% state at zero seconds. So that if somebody scrolls out and then scrolls back quickly, it's ready for them at zero to redo this animation. Okay, and that's it. We are totally ready here. We are ready to have this live on the site. And that is how you implement the scroll up icon with scroll into view. Nice. That's effing sweet.